In Cambridge, England, I met Marie. He told me of her passion to turn her counselling and therapy business into a social enterprise. 4,000 miles away in Karachi, Pakistan, I met Faraz Khan, a social enterprise expert with equal conviction. I shared Marie's story with him. And so the project that I'm working on right now is to find funding from the private sector to create a social enterprise whereby people, in particular women, will be able to come and get the help that they need when they're going through the most difficult time in their life. Well, the advice that I would give to Marie would be, one, she's already working on it, that she is, she wants to engage the private sector. Because you need to understand, at this point of time, private sector has a lot of money. And she needs the money for a very good cause that she is passionate about. Brilliant. All the ingredients are there. What you need to do is develop a sustainable model out of it. You need to give value proposition to the private sector. She is already giving a value proposition to the people she's helping and create that link. So she's halfway there, to tell you the truth. Where I say that business is important is that acumen. But how do you link these two value propositions together? The private sector needs something and the people who, she, who she's helping need something. And she is that fulcrum that's connecting these two points. How, how uh, intelligently in terms of business terms you do it, the better and sustainable the, the project would be. In Pakistan, the concept of social enterprise uh, has been there for decades. But they don't know it's a social enterprise. Um, what Pakistani social enterprises are lacking is the ability to move in a robust manner as, as, as a private sector entity would. If, if there's a fruit vendor in London, in, in Kensal Rise, um, I asked him, was like, why don't you just you know, do this and that and uh, create the menu this way and you, why don't you think of opening another shop, you know, you can create more employment. He's like, you're wasting my time. I get up at 7 o'clock in the morning, um, I procure my, uh, my, my fruits, then I stand here the whole day. I don't have the time for that. In the evening, I, I need to go and spend time with my kids. Exactly the same thing is happening in Karachi. The man gets up at 5 o'clock in the morning, gets the fruit from the, fr fr from the uh, wholesaler, sells the whole day, it's extremely tired, he wants to go to sleep in the end. Where, what, what growth are you talking about? Inception of growth, that is the common element. How do you tell them that your particular little small enterprise can, be, can, can grow, can create more employment, can bring more benefit to you and to society in a, pro a proper way? I started off when I was very young. Um, when I was 19, while I was studying, I started as a photocopier at, at, uh, <laughs> at Deutsche Bank and uh, used to make tea for them and uh, from there on I did my masters, did my, uh, went into banking around 15 years of banking, left banking because I was making a lot of money for very concentrated sort of people and did not like that so I said if I can make that sort of money for a bank I can make the same sort of money for myself so it was a very greedy transition um, well, I started making money for myself and after three years I said, really, I'm doing exactly the same thing what I was doing for a bank or a financial institution and nothing much, no, no much difference. But what it gave me was a financial foundation to do what I really wanted to do probably. And we looked around and we looked at roundabouts which were dilapidated. We looked at monuments which were torn down and squatted and uh, drugs being sold over there. We went to the government and we said, guys, this is a two-sword monument. It's just like Piccadilly in London. And we said, it's in dilapidated condition. Why don't you give us the rights to, to beautify it? We will give you the taxes. And um, then you give us the rights uh, on the media on that particular roundabout. And they said, can you do that? I was like, sure. And we got the rights. We developed the whole place, we, we, we created employment, 
we beautified the community and then we sold it to a private sector entity. The government made money, the employees made money, the suppliers made money. Just through this, we can create a social model. I created um, an a export promotion consultancy for small um, exporters in the ethnic diaspora community in UK. My third enterprise is a socio-economic development consultancy called Stimulus. But the interesting thing about this particular event was that a day before a major bomb blast happened uh, in, 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 in a close by area. And it was all across the news. The mood of the city was very down. And through Facebook, we generate, we, we send this message that this is called Chal Utha Pakistan. Chal Utha Pakistan, rise and walk Pakistan again. Okay? And we said, you know, we're doing this walk. Come and join us. And this happened. And then there were buses, loads of kids and youth. They just turned up and said, you know, it's on Sea View. There's good music. The cause is brilliant. And we are sick and tired of sitting at home, worrying about this bomb blast and, and the news. That is Pakistan. Mm -hmm. This is the youth. These are girls. These are boys. Um, show me terrorism anywhere here. Show me uh, corruption here. <laughs> no, it's not here. It's, it's innocent youth who want to enjoy themselves, who want to make um, a positive living, who want to do something with their life in Pakistan. They want to change the image of Pakistan. They're standing in a queue. We are known for breaking the queues. <laughs> so whatever business I started, um, it had a very strong uh, social mandate. You know, Karachi has a lot of life, it has a lot of energy, a lot of positive energy. Um, it's, it's, it's home to amazing shrines, it's home to a lot of history, it's home to a lot of culture. Um, it's the, the undercurrent of Karachi has so much potential, it's just a matter of um, identifying and, and, and looking at it, at, at it in that particular way. Um, it's just like any other city. It's just like, um, it's full of people, it's full of, full, full of young people, children, hope. My impression of Cambridge is um, education, peace, beauty, serenity, um, smiles. You talk, you, you think, you say Cambridge and these things will come up in my mind. And interestingly, um, apart from a lot of other things that has a lot of negative connotations, these, these are things that coexist in this part of the world as well. Faraz's businesses span Britain and Pakistan. Like him, I was able to find some surprising common ground between the two. Yeah.